Hello, this is Walt Ford, editor for Leatherneck Magazine. Welcome to our December issue of Leatherneck Magazine of the Marines. We've got a great issue for you this month. I was asked recently to make sure I didn't forget the Korean War. Everybody says the Korean War is forgotten, the forgotten war. I was talking to a, a friend of mine named Warren Weedhan, retired Marine Colonel Warren Weedhan, Korean War veteran, owner and operator of uh, military historical tours. And Warren said, I, I tend to think of it as the forgotten victory. So this month in Leatherneck, we have two feature articles focused on the Korean War and Chosen Reservoir. 60 years ago, this month, Marines carved a bold stroke in Marine Corps history at the Chosen Reservoir and coming out in their attack to the sea, their breakout. So we have two articles, one, by, one written by a retired Marine Major Al Bevilacqua on uh, the Chosen Reservoir, and another one written by a retired Marine uh, Captain Cy, uh, Cy O'Brien, which a lot of you might recognize, Cy wrote his first article for Leatherneck in 1944. He's 91 years old, and he's written a story called The Bridge. And this is a story of how a joint operation bridged a gap that had totally stopped the Marines in their march to the sea from Chosen to Hung Nam. Chinese blew a hole there. Air Force, Marines, Army came in and put a bridge down, and they continued the march to the sea. So, Cy wrote us an article called The Bridge. So there's two articles in this, uh, in this particular uh, issue of Leatherneck, and it's not the forgotten war, it's the forgotten victory, and we want to tell about it. We add to that in our digital magazine the conclusion of a two-part article by Dick Camp on the Battle of Najaf, 2004, Iraq. I think you'll like it. We've had a lot of positive feedback on, on part one, which was in our November issue, so see the conclusion in our December issue. We add to that a story, a short story, on wounded warriors and how Marines down in Texas are taking care of these wounded warriors. It's combat warriors taking other combat warriors, wounded warriors, to fish, to hunt. So look forward to that story, too, in the December issue. That plus our ongoing story series on the War on Terror. Get over to Books Reviewed. We reviewed a DVD called Chosen. GI Film Festival Award winner. The documentary was, was put together by two Marine captains, reserve captains that served their active duty, got off active duty, took a look at uh, how they could uh, marry Marines of their experiences of today with the Marines of, uh, of uh, Korean War, and they came up with the idea to uh, travel around the United States. They spent about eight months sleeping on floors, talking to veterans and VFWs, American Legions, and certainly Marine Corps Leagues, wherever they could find Marines from, from the uh, Korean War who wanted to tell their story, a story that had never been told before. So watch this DVD. It's available now, and we've reviewed it in our December issue. With that, we'll say uh, don't forget our Marines who are over in Iraq and Afghanistan and other places around the world. Send them something. If you have any questions about how to get it to them or where to go and what they need, give Leatherneck a call or give us an email at leatherneck at mca-marines.org. We can help you out there. But it's holiday season. Let's remember our Marines and sailors deployed forward. Thanks very much, and I look forward to talking to you again.